hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is sama so this video i want to share this uh, story with you guys you know what i'm actually gonna let me read it for you guys word for word how it was posted uh, by uh, insta blog right let me read word for word so that it's not what i said is exactly what is uh, written so oh, so it says a Texas man and ringleader of a Yahoo Boys gang sentenced to 20 years imprisonment for romance scam in the UK. A North Texas man, <laughs> okay, let me laugh small, right? Because when I read it, I was like, oh, why is Insta blog covering the story? Like, it's not typical for them to cover foreign stories. And then when I saw his name, I was like, okay, <laughs> that's a Nigerian name. But what came to my mind is that. You know, for the longest time, when a Nigerian that lives abroad or has lived all his life abroad, was born abroad, commits a crime, let's say their parents are Nigerians or whatever, commits a crime, abroad is very quick to call them Nigerians, right? But when they go and win Olympic for them or do all those amazing things, that is the only time they will claim them. So I like the way they called him Texas man. Because when I was reading and I saw, ah, it's a Nigerian song. Anyway, okay, so he says, let me just read it. Okay, sorry. A North Texas man, Ifan Yichuku Festus Obi, 43, will spend the next 20 years behind bars for leading a gang of criminals that allegedly used sweetheart scams, um, in quotes, um, on elderly victims across the country and sent the money to Nigeria, Fox News reporting. Uh, according to the Tarrant uh, county district attorney's office Eva Nichuku was one of four people arrested following a third month uh, multi-agency task force investigation it is reported that he is a ringleader of the yahoo boys of yahoo boys bagang in nigeria that sent 1.32 million in stolen money to Africa during a two-month span in 2019. He was convicted of engaging in organized criminal activity and theft of property of more than $300,000. During court hearing, it was revealed that the group is connected to colors in Nigeria who scammed the elderly into sending money to their online love interest. The Nigerian scammers are calling our retired elderly population all through the night, waking them up, stressing them out, and compelling them to send their money far and wide, said Assistant Criminal District Attorney Lori Venal, who prosecuted the case. They said this 20-year prison sentence for the theft and engaging in criminal activity reflects the vast amount of money he was laundering overseas. Prosecutors are still working cases against other three members of the Yahoo Boys. The other three people indicted in this case are Sha uh, Sahid Akinyani, 33, um, for engaging in organized criminal activity and theft of property be between $30,000 to $150,000. Olisha Gu Odunwale, 35, for engaging in organized criminal activity and theft of property between $2,500 to $30,000. And Obianuju Orakbosu, 43, for engaging in organized criminal activities uh, activity and theft of property between $300,000 to $1 million. Uh, uh, so I saw that post and I wanted to share it, you know, as always, when I feel that there's a message in the story, I like to cover it because you never know who these stories or whatever we discuss will can change their lives, you know, or what I say or what you guys comment in the comment section, save their lives. Now, the area I want to address in this is, you know, a lot of, there are a lot of Nigerians that are still in Nigeria and they are praying for a way out. They are praying for any way at all to get out of Nigeria, to a better country let me put it like that right because of the situation of things in nigeria right now right and then what i kept thinking about is how can someone that has eventually gone to a lot of these countries that we will call countries of opportunity if okay they are not heaven but there are countries of a lot of opportunity and to not get there of all the things someone could have done to make it of all the different ways to make money in America, a land of opportunity, someone would choose something like this. Let's not forget he has gotten the, the, the 20 years is not moi moi. Let's not forget that. Do you know how old he would be by the time he comes out? 60 something. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? I'm saying this now for anybody that is tempted 
to shook hand where they're not supposed to shook hand, get involved in things they shouldn't get involved in. Think about things like this. If you live in America, even if you are working in a supermarket as a cleaner or as a, what's the call now? The people at the pay point, the cashiers or whatever you call, whatever they call them, you're arranging goods in the shop. You may have the minimum income, minimum wage, and live a simple life. Is it not better than spending the next 20 years in prison? It's funny enough, eh? Recently, I've been covering a lot about contentment. And I've always said it that when things happen, I'm like, oh, I see this message in there. Oh, somehow, I don't know how, but the recent times, stories I've covered has been around contentment. Because somebody, see, when you see when you desire the life, for example, the life you see on social media, the life of the big and the mighty. Social media has is a beautiful thing, but it's causing a lot of problems. Because people are watching other people and say, oh, look at his life. Look at her life. And wanting that, rather than wanting what they need. A lot of people have forgotten what a need, what a need is. The man that is working at Walmart still has a chance. For example, Walmart is an American uh, supermarket. Still has a chance to maybe, you know, promotion and become the manager and this and there's still a chance to make it. How do you make it in the prison? You see this thing about trying to make it quick and make it big is a big problem. Another area I want to speak about, you know, this notion that people that go abroad must blow. People back home expecting you to, to do something. Ah, you are abroad now. You have to learn. You see me. You know, I like to use myself as an example sometimes. I've always told people, I'm not in competition with anybody. I've shared the story of my mother that always telling me, you know, your cousin that is in the kidney. Do you know she did this? Do you know she did that? Do you know your cousin? And I say, that is her. This is me. Eh? Every, I'm not competing with anybody. I'm not. Me, I focus on. You see, I like. You see, soft life, simple life. That is me. I remember when I went to nursing, when I went to the university to study nursing. I always said it that when I qualify, I will do maximum my three night shift, nothing more. You see all this overtime and this time and that time. Mm -mm. If I'm stuck with something, I say, okay, I need this extra money. I may do something to just, you know, go over that rough edge. And after that, I keep, I keep my life very simple. Let me say something so people don't understand when I talk about contentment. There is something in my language, in the Hebrew language, we say, I could wait you are for. There is no amount of earthly wealth you will have that you'll be satisfied. Basically, the direct translation is earthly wealth never satisfies. For people to, going back to this story, to go into scamming elderly women, and from, if you don't understand this love scam, is like promising them that you love them. The next you'll be like, oh, you have this problem, you know, you have that problem, you're locked up, you need to be released, or somehow get money out of extort them and scam them in that way. If you do not understand my message, think about it right now. This guy that is going, you see, America, that 20 years is 20 years old. There's nothing like family member come and bribe, or no, they're not the beg put. It's not Nigeria where you can use Magomago Mago and release the person. That 20 years is 20 years, right now. If you picture that guy right now, if you give him a second chance in that America now and say, what do you want to do now? Do you think he would do what he did before? Of course not. You and I, we are not in prison. We are not in trouble. Thank God. Let's reason now properly. Don't wait to get to that point before you now say, I shouldn't have done it. I should have done better. If I had known, let me say it again. That job you're doing, you're making your money. You can, you may not be able to fly private jet. You may not be able to fly first class. You're not focus on your job and do it. Je, je, je. There are, even if you're struggling, there are a million and one other better ways in a civilized society for that matter to make it. When I say make it, not the, until you become flamboyant, uh, social media famous person. No, to make it, to be able to provide for your need. There are a lot of ways. You don't have to go into crime. In my language, another thing. Today, a lot of my language I'm speaking, I think. You know, Too much, Ndi will translate for, help me translate it properly. Too much putting I. You know, like even social media, like I said, is making it worse. You want to be like that person posting and bragging on social media. Learn contentment. It makes life so much easier. Do you know what it is that you're sleeping in your house? 
You sleep with your two eyes closed. You're not worried. You're not panicking. You're not. You just live in a very simple life. I just pray a lot of people will understand the message. I saw that story. I want to share it because what came to my mind is like, how can a Nigerian living abroad? I don't know if he was born abroad or not. Or I don't know. <laughs> but the name we are seeing, they are Nigerian names. And if you read it in, they talk and they are Nigerians. How can people that have finally gotten to the country of opportunity want to go through this route to make it? Why? Like I said already, there's no way he's not regretting what he has done right now. And you or that you're not in the position where you're regretting. Do the right thing now. That is basically the message I want to share in this video. As always, this is my opinion. And as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.